What would your gut say about what the the killing of Osama bin Laden does to this campaign going forward? Well, I, I think that there have been these questions very unfairly raised over the last two years, really, that are fundamentally about the president's Americanness. And I think that's fundamentally these questions of citizenship and birth are, are about. And I think what you saw was a decision-making process that was impeccable, A. Um, and B, this was a politically courageous decision of the first order. Uh, there were comparisons to Jimmy Carter in the air. It had this very daring mission gone south that would have been politically disastrous for him. He ignored all of the political consequences, and he executed his oath of as commander-in-chief of this country, and he brought justice to bin Osama bin Laden on behalf of the American people. And I think that, um, that Republicans are um, making a big mistake uh, to continue to ignore the voices in the party that are fringe voices you know, on these questions. And it's time for Republicans en masse to start calling it out. Ronald Reagan used to talk about the fact that we don't have political enemies in this country. We have political, political opponents. Um, President Obama did a fine job here. There is room to disagree with him on policy uh, without the type of rhetoric that we've seen directed at him, you know, that's just off the wall for some quarters. And I think to the extent that the Donald Trumps of the world are indulged in this process, that it really hurts the Republican field. It trivializes serious issues and it denies Republicans the ability to communicate um, you know, a platform and an alternative vision, particularly on economic issues. Steve Schmidt, I only want you to say things that wise uh, about how the Republicans should operate on MSNBC <laughs> so that they don't hear it. Thank you very much for joining me tonight, Steve Schmidt.